Hey friends, it's Sarah. Welcome to or back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my most recent favorite hairstyle for my grown out pixie cut. So if you want to see how I took my hair from this to this, make sure you keep on watching until the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Check out my merch link down below. And let's get started. I just woke up from a nap. I'm drinking wine out of a glass. It's Saturday night. And we're gonna hang out together. So this is the state of my hair. <laughs> Give you a good gander. Um, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am growing out a pixie cut. So I feel like I'm entering the awkward stage yet again. I have my little mullet going. But uh, yeah, this is post nap hair. This is pretty much. <laughs> Most days I don't do my hair because I work from home, so there's not really a need to do my hair. But if I needed to go to a meeting or out to a bar or on a date, this is what I have been doing recently. But I probably do this once every like two weeks. So you're gonna need a couple things for this. You're gonna need a brush. You're gonna need some sort of texturizing spray. This one's from Aveda. All the products I mentioned will be linked down below. And then this is the Aveda Men Pure Performance Pomade. Not my favorite but it's what I have, so I'm gonna use it. This might come with a little bit of shock to some of y'all. I'm gonna use a straightener. Not to straighten my hair, but to curl it. I know the majority of my subscribers came from my curly hair video, and using heat on curly hair is kinda like a sin, but like, your hair, do what you want. My hair, I'm gonna do what you want, or what I want. I'm gonna do what I want. Now, I would say that this hairstyle works best on not clean hair, I don't know about y'all, but my hair doesn't hold curls super well, so I need a little bit of like grit in it. And that's also what the texturizing spray is for. You can also use dry shampoo. You don't want to do too much of this, otherwise it will make your hair feel kind of weird. And you can just kind of work it in. We're going to plug in our straightener. My like leave-in conditioner has heat protectant built in but if that's not the kind you have use some heat protectant because we are trying to grow our hair wine break what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to curl or create just some more texture and body in the straightener so i like to go in all different directions and i'll start here and just give it a little more bend i was just watching a grown out pixie cut styling video and they were using this like bedhead TGI pixie straightener. It's like half an inch. I'm like, oh, bitch. I want that because this one is, you know, this is meant for like longer hair, but you know, we'll, we'll work with what we got and just keep going. Just alternating sides. You might be able to do this with the, oh God, with the curling wand too, but I don't have one of those, so. All right. Especially the ear pieces can be a little tricky, so I like to bend those away from my ear. Do a couple on the back just so it looks more uniformed. But again, you don't have to do your whole head. So again, I'm just turning it towards my head. And I don't leave it on for too long because again, we're trying to keep our hair healthy. So this side is done. I'm going to let the curls sit in there while I work on the next side. I have a cowlick here. So I like to kind of play into that. The first time I did this hairstyle, I got it to like curl down like this and I thought it was actually pretty cute. I'm just going to take it. I'm going to curl it to the side actually so it's more curly versus just that like C shape. Ta -da! <laughs> the front parts I typically do away from my face just because they are so short all right and then once we get back here I'll start to do some away from my face thank you Dika all right and sometimes it gets a little crazy but that's okay because we can always brush them out or redo them or let them sit and kind of shake them out Curl 
more away from the faves. Now that I have this, this is where we're at. It's kind of cute, right? Now I am going to just kind of break apart these ones that are being a little weird. And it's okay if some stick up, like it's kind of cute, you know, nothing. Just like how natural curly hair isn't always uniform and perfect. Fake curly hair isn't either. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a little more texturizing spray. my hands through it okay we have that now and now you can just leave it like this or you can add in some putty for some extra hold or hairspray if you have any I'm just gonna use a little bit because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way again not my favorite product but I have it so we're gonna use it There's the final product. All right, friends, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I know it was short and sweet, but I just wanted to share this with you since I did it and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I need to tell you all about it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. What else? Comment down below if you have any more pixie slash hair related videos because I know those are your all favorite and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Cheers! Alright friends, you made it to the end of the video. You know what that means. A forehead kiss and a hug. A virtual one if you like it. If not, peace out, sayonara. Love you the most. But if you do, bring Mwah. Could you even see that? Mwah. Love you. Bye. No one gonna tell me about the wine stain. Also, why am I so red? You mean bread and butterflies? Oh yes, of course. I hmm? Oh, my God.